Hey there, I'm Addison, founder of Reliant Destinations and MyCaribbeanLuxury.com. And welcome today to this YouTube channel, Mr. Travelux. On this exclusive Sandals and Beaches channel, today I am excited to bring you the top five beaches at a Sandals or Beaches resort. Hi, I'm Morgan, executive assistant to Addison and fellow Sandals and Beaches expert. Before we dive into this exciting video today, I would love to encourage you to take a quick peek at the description and comments below. There you will find so much information that you don't want to miss. From a beautiful must-see digital brochure to further info about this topic and contact details for Addison and the team, you will certainly find it worth a moment of your time. Indeed, if I can be of any assistance in helping you to plan your perfect trip to paradise, please let me know. And if you did happen to book in the last 14 days, either online or over the phone, still get in touch to hear about our complimentary concierge services and what we might be able to do for you. But for now, let's jump straight into this rankings video of the top five beaches at a Sandals or Beaches Resort. I hope you're ready. I know I am. Let's go. Counting down to my favorites, we start with number five. Number five is Sandals Matigo Bay. Just down the road from the sister resort Sandals Royal Caribbean, Sandals Matigo Bay offers an amazing beach. It is a long beach and it is a fantastic resort overall. By staying at this resort, you do have that stay and play privilege, of course, between Sandals Royal Caribbean and Sandals Matigo Bay. This means you get double beach or technically triple beach even because Sandals Royal Caribbean has its own private island. I have always found the beach at Sandals Matigo Bay to be of good quality overall. I've really enjoyed it and at this resort, there even is an over-the-water chapel where you can get some amazing views. And now number four, heading over to Antigua for Sandals Grand Antigua. This resort is situated on Dickinson Bay. In fact, Antigua, it likes to boast that it has a beach for every day of the year, 365 beaches, give or take. Here on Dickinson Bay, you will find a log beach, and on this beach, it is really good sand quality, a white sand. The water quality tends to be pretty nice as well. This resort has multiple access points to the beach, and in my times at Sandals Grand Antigua, I've really enjoyed the beach overall. It's great for walking down the beach and enjoying some of the amazing tropical scenery or it's also great for just grabbing a chair there along the beach and just watching the waves come lapping in. And now we're at number three, and number three is Sandals Negril. This resort is positioned along the famous seven mile beach there in Negril, Jamaica. This is a coveted strip of beach and Sandals occupies, well, let's just say quite a lot of it. This is a very long and skinny resort and it is there on some beautiful beach and you have a amazing, amazing views that go what seems like infinity. In my opinion, this is the best strip of beach in Jamaica. And for sandals on this island, I think at this resort, it's also the very best beach amongst the brand portfolio. There are plenty of water sports to be had here at this resort and well, with a beach this stunning, <laughs> who wouldn't want to try? We're getting closer on this rapid fire video here. We're down now to number two. Number two is Sandals Emerald Bay. Sandals Emerald Bay is positioned in Exuma, which is in the amazing collection of islands known as the Bahamas. There you will find a pristine beach, some emerald waters, very crystal clear as the name of the resort itself suggests. There are many fun excursions and activities in this area, but perhaps the most popular would be swimming with the pigs. Well, why wouldn't you want to swim with some cute little piggies in these beautiful, gorgeous waters? And number one actually is not a Sandals Resort itself, but it is a beaches resort. Keeping in mind that Sandals Resorts are for couples only, that is a romantic resort, and beaches resorts are resorts for everyone, of which many people who have been to Sandals try beaches. And this is Beaches Turks and Caicos occupying number one on my list, situated at Grace Bay in amazing Turks and Caicos. Grace Bay, by multiple sources, has been rated the world's number one beach, and if you've seen this beach, you'll know exactly why. 
Whether it's a walk along the beach, or maybe a snorkeling session, or even some free snorkeling just at the preserve that is 10 minutes down the beach to the left, there is endless opportunities to enjoy this pristine beach and these stunning waters. And there we have it, that's my list. Sandals Matigo Bay, Sandals Grand Antigua, Sandals the Grill, Sandals Emerald Bay, featuring at number one, beaches, Turks and Caicos. Honestly, there are a lot of great beaches at Sandals and Beaches Resorts. In fact, there's no bad beach. All of these locations are selected carefully and offer great ambiances. But in this video, we're talking about my personal favorites, and there we have it. Some of these resorts are better than others, and in fact, my favorite resorts aren't even on this list, but there are so many Sandals and Beaches Resorts, so that can easily explain why. As a reminder, I would be thrilled to assist in helping you plan your perfect trip to tropical paradise. You can reach out anytime at hello at reliancedestinations.com. My team and I would love to personally assist you in making sure that you create memories for a lifetime. Again, please make sure to look in that description below. I put a lot of different information there, which I think you will find beneficial. As we finish, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe. I also invite you to check out the channel where we have numerous videos about everything Sandals and Beaches Resorts. Most things you could possibly imagine are there. But thanks for a moment of your time today. Again, please remember to like and subscribe. I hope to see you soon. Take care.